I've, I've got to say, who writes your scripts? You? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I try to. Um, it was it was brilliant again. Like, once again, come on, make an impact, and then get a result at the end. That's what we want, and that's what we need at the moment. Get three points till the end of the season, or get as many points as possible. Yeah, I mean, for for us with our hearts, it, it was incredible to watch that. It was really really breathtaking. Talk us through your, your first and second goals. Uh, first one was. Um, Obviously, kept coming on. Obviously, didn't touch the ball about for five minutes. Cause was was like, that your first yeah. touch? I think it was my my, my my second one. I think so. Um, ball was um, in the middle. Nobs got the ball, switched the ball wide because because they didn't play with a left back. Um, I believe it was Wedge who shifted the ball and then delivered the ball straight away. So I make late the run to the far post, and luckily got ahead. I mean, ahead of my defender. And it was a free two. And then the second one was obviously it was a counter attack. We cleared the ball. Dorich hold the ball up. He put me sort of through with my first touch. Obviously, put the ball down the line. One v one situation. Managed to get the ball through his legs. I can't, still can't believe it. And then slotted the ball in bottom right corner. So it's a nice little pass. And then that was it from there on. Yeah. Every player wants to start a game. I know you, you started against Gateshead. You kind of played in the number ten role, didn't you, for the first half? Yeah. And then second half against Gateshead, you moved a little bit more up front. Where, where is your sort of preferred position? Um, anywhere in the final third, if I'll be honest, because. Gated game was totally different to this one because um, they were sitting deep, let us have the ball, and it was just literally shit, moving from one side to the other. So it was really difficult to get the ball on the move. But today it was totally different. Like it was open, we could, got the balls in those little pockets, got the ball wide, managed to deliver the ball a few times, and also had two dis disallowed goals, which was a shame. But we got a result at the end, so that's the main thing. Yeah, I mean the manager made five changes from the gates that game, probably rightly so. But the impact that you and Gosling made as well, you know, it proves that it's a strong squad and you can make changes from the bench and make an impact. And that's what we need. We need a big squad, a strong squad, obviously. We've got another 13 games to go, so we need every single player who's with us at the moment. So it's going to be massive in I mean, the next few weeks. It was a huge result today, really. This could prove pivotal for the rest of the season, though. Yeah, like, imagine we draw this game today and then the leaders just, just get away from with those little points if you say so but if you if you look at the end of the season they're going to be massive so luckily we've got a good result today yeah finally you've got to talk about Tranmere on Tuesday huge game for the club and I would imagine big game for you it's a great place to go there's probably going to be five seven thousand people there yeah I mean I've never been in that situation like playing I don't know like county league football Sunday league football a few years ago now go to Tranmere uh, a bit of a shock but I hopefully won't be the big one because um, it's just football at the end of the day 11 v 11 whoever scores more goals wins and takes the three points so hopefully it be two of the shot you also seem to sort of hit quite a good bond with the fans already really haven't you so you they've taken to you and you've taken to them yeah it's our, our person is massive like especially a world football club when I was playing there going into the bar I have a chat with them because without them we wouldn't be a football club so it's really important that hopefully the other, all the other boys start doing it as well like getting in touch with them, talking to them after the games, because at the end of the day, if they're not here, who's going to watch us play? Yeah. Okay, cheers Omar. Nice, Brilliant.